at the time I just stayed calm. Um, but when I heard the words that your son might not make it through the night, my, uh, sorry. I actually told my husband there was no way that I could live without my son. So we surprised our kids for Christmas to go on a vacation to Disneyland. About a week or so leading up, we had noticed Lucas had like a decline in just his overall appearance, his attitude. Uh, we got through most of the day with Disney. Towards the end of the night, we had noticed that his legs had gotten bigger. So we basically rushed out of Disneyland, went to the nearest children's hospital. Their first thought was, it is his heart which was gut-wrenching. I had my moments of doubt when he would sleep so many long hours that I'm like, okay, I, I, I miss that smile. I miss your spunky personality. Are you, gonna, are you gonna wake up and still be the same? As a dad, you know, you're, you're supposed to be the rock. You know, you're supposed to be the one everybody can lean on. When you're going through things like that, you know, hearing all these things and about your son and not knowing what's gonna happen and what's gonna come and watching him hooked up to all these monitors and just barely responsive, you know, and. He um, ended up back in the hospital nine days later because he had lost about two pounds in weight. During that time, we had found out that he actually had a genetic condition called Barth syndrome. I, I prayed often to take his place. And, uh, you know, I pray to God, take my life, give my son my life. I got a call from my daughter, and she was in tears, and she was asking me questions like, is Lucas going to come home? And I had told her, Yes, I know he's going to come home. Do we know what the future is going to bring? No, we don't. They say that a lot of the boys don't make it past the age of three. And so when he hit his third year birthday, we made a pretty big deal about it. Happy birthday to you. Lucas has honestly taught me just to live life because no matter what anybody's saying can go wrong doesn't always necessarily mean it's gonna go wrong. I firmly believe that we were placed in Arizona for Phoenix Children's Hospital and further care there. Without their dedication and everything to children, our son wouldn't be where he is today. My hope for his future is just to be able to be normal. Just to see him be able to do things like ride a bike or even run. I want him to live a very long, successful life. You know, not just physically, mentally, emotionally, just get out there and just be a, really an example to be able to show and bring attention to all these things and help other kids in his situation or worse.